Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Black Ops Cold War video, guys. Today, I have some exciting news to tell you guys. So, as this video is out right now, and possibly tomorrow as well, Mrs. Rudy and I are finally, like, once again, back on track with taking our steps to moving into our new home. We should be moved between one month from now and two months from now. That, um, two months should, should be the max. Like, two months should be, like, the, if things are going wrong. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so one month is if everything goes perfect. Two months is if thing goes wrong, and I guess like three months of, of like literally everything went entirely wrong. I don't know, but I'm really excited. Let's hop into a game. We are hopping into a crossroad track card point, which is actually a uh, pretty pretty good topic, to, uh, pretty good map to talk about right now. Because right now, as I'm recording this, so I'm recording this video in advance. Because like I said, Mrs. Rudy and I are going to be gone today and potentially tomorrow for you guys, uh, because we're going to be looking at some house situation stuff. But the pros right now are testing out Apocalypse and Express for, like, I don't know what specific game modes they're doing each one for. Like, if they're doing, I'm sure you're going to test out all the, like, both those maps on all three game modes. Like, who knows what they're going to actually end up choosing. But I know the goal is to get rid of Miami, Search and Destroy, and to get rid of Crossroads Hardpoint, which would be so good. I mean, truly, the only reason why those maps are on, like, in the rotation, and if you notice, both maps are only in for one game mode each. Is because they like they I mean they suck, but like we just don't have that many maps. So with Express and Apocalypse, if they end up being good, if they end up being good, they gotta be good. If they end up being good, or I mean they actually don't even have to be good, they just have to be better than Crossroads and Miami, then that would be awesome. Dude, Miami would be like a really fine search and destroy map if it was just daytime, honestly. Like sure there's still like a lot of clutter going on in the middle, but if it was just daytime and if A was like a little bit more um harder like if it was a little bit harder to access from middle because right now if you go mid you can access like a pretty easily like you don't really even need like anyone on a i mean you need someone on a in the back like just to call out that early rotation but realistically if you just had someone on middle and you just played for the rotation you easily could i mean that's ah oh, i suck i'm coming back for you i'm coming back for you there we go got him back but, so that's gonna be exciting. I really hope, I mean, I truly, like, have no idea how. I love hitting the resupply every time I go by, just for my nades back. Uh, I really don't know how these two, I know Express is gonna work its way in, of course. I mean, Express was played in Black Ops 2, and I used to say it was in Search and Destroy only, because I thought it was, but, not, like, when I think about it, like, was it in Hardpoint, or did I just play Hardpoint public matches? I don't, like, I don't actually remember. How did you get spawn? Right there, I mean, the spawns on this map for Hardpoint are pretty, pretty bad. Uh, but I know Express is going to make its way in at least one of the game modes, like 100%. Like I said, I still remember if it was a search and destroy or a hard point search. I don't like 100% remember what Express was played on, like CWL wise. Oh crap. Oh crap. You know, I, okay, yeah. I switched to a, I switched to a shotgun on my back just because, I mean, I'm playing pubs. Everyone in here is toxic. So I might as well be toxic too, right? I mean, that's basically what you got to do. What are you? <laughs> what was that fella doing? For, oh, you. No. Oh, wait, here comes Hazy again. No, I freaking stinned, but it was too late. Now, actually talking about what I wanted to tell you guys about today, uh, which is even more exciting, is so Mrs. Rudy and I, so if you guys have been following around, you're in the Discord, Twitter, anything like that, you know that we have basically for the last, like, eight... No, I ran an aim. I forgot I took off 42-round mag. I just put on the fast mag uh, so I can keep my aim down sight speed as high as possible. But Mrs. Rudy and I, for, like, the last, like, I don't know, what's it been? Like, it's been over six months, right? I think so. Hey, I'm just gonna say the last six months, this is Rudy and I have been planning on moving to our new property, which is like awesome. Like we have property, that's like for sure. Like, I mean, we already have that. It's in our name and everything. We're just trying to figure out like what kind of housing we want to put on it. And we keep changing our mind like all the time. Things are coming up. We keep thinking of all the different scenarios because when you put a house on land, I mean, it is a very, very permanent thing you're doing. I mean, because to build a house or to put a house or put a temporary house is not easy to replace okay so it's it's like it's as close to permanent as you're gonna get without it being fully permanent because at the end of the day obviously anything could be taken down with um i guess the right amount of like passion i guess to have something different but we are we're gonna be looking at some modular homes basically as like a temporary home and it's gonna be perfect because then one day you know uh my mother-in-law will be able to live on it so it works out for us because now we have a temporary home that we're gonna be living in while we take the time instead of rushing to build our dream home we want to like have more time to like actually plan it out and then save up the money for it to build it <laughs> okay we just killed that guy oh nice 
Uh, and then, like I said, for now, it's just a temporary home. And then one day, uh, my mother-in-law, uh, Mrs. Rudy Mother, obviously, is going to, like, she can live in it. So that it's going to work out. We're going to go look at those. That's what we're looking at. It's going to be awesome. It's a lot of work, though, because if you don't know, we are straight up on dirt right now. I mean, there's not even grass. We bought a cornfield, if you guys didn't know. Straight up flat cornfield, which, you know, is definitely a risky business. Not really risky. It what Not risky, actually, at all. What it all it is is just a lot of work. You know, there's no risk involved. And I am running the sass right now, if you guys have noticed. I'm only running the sass because I'm trying to get harps. I wanted to change my kill streak so I, like, only get gun kills. Because I really want to level up this LC-10. I want to get Dark Matter on it, but I am... I mean, I, I played for an hour before I even recorded this video with the double weapon XP token. And I leveled it up literally one time. And I was like, what is... Like, what? Am I this bad? Or, I mean, what? I don't understand. Like, I guess I, I guess it reminded me of, like, when I was going for Dark Matter, how long it actually does take to level up these guns. You get out of here. Get out of here there, guy. But I'm, I'm, we're super excited about it. Uh, we're, like I said, Thursday for sure. Like today, we're definitely there. Um, and then if we don't find anything, then we, we have Friday as like a backup day. But realistically, we kind of have like figured out like what we want to do like for Thursday. So that should be good to go. Our plan is to go Thursday, get everything taken care of. And then like I said, uh, the, the business we're going to be working with, they said if everything goes perfectly, one month we'll be moved in. In one month, we'll go from a completely dirt land to uh like moved in now the only thing is obviously we're not gonna have grass grown that quick if you guys don't know grass is actually expensive to grow okay it's expensive not expensive to grow but expensive to like get the seed for grass and then it takes a little bit to grow so we're gonna be on dirt for a little bit but that, that ain't nothing but a thing we can we can deal with dirt because we're gonna as soon as we live out there we'll get our we'll get our grass going and then so we'll be it'll be awesome uh i keep telling mrs Rudy that the second we move literally the day we move my plan is to go to an animal shelter and adopt another dog for Edgar to have a friend and then also to go to my lo local grocery store and just buy 50 tennis balls. That is my plan. I literally cannot wait. And then also we're going to have to buy a kiddie pool because uh, it's going to be like all dirty. And if it ever rains, it's going to be mud. And we're going to have to wash Edgar outside because I am not going to give Edgar a bath every single day inside of the house because I am going to have to give him a bath every day until the grass grows like at the very least and then also if we get another dog i'm gonna have to give two dogs a bass every day until the grass grows so that, that's okay it's gonna be totally worth it i just oh man i can't wait like edgar love i love uh, edgar a little puppy to death but he needs a friend okay he he comes to me to throw here's what we do in our little apartment right now he comes to me and drops his like one of his like five toys he has that he can't seem to destroy drops one of them on me just covered in his slobber and is asking me to throw it a whopping three feet and then he runs, gets it, and runs right back. And we throw it about 100 times a day. He needs to run. Oh, when I go to my mom's house and she has a big yard and I just get to throw a tennis ball for him, he loves it. I would show you Mr. Aguardo Man now, but he's he's currently in the living room. I'm recording this right now as Mrs. Rudy is at work. So he's uh, he's hanging out in the living room. He usually only sits in here with me when she's at home and I just have us both locked in here. That way, you know, she's a nurse. Mrs. Rudy's a nurse, if you guys didn't know. You probably didn't know. She's a nurse, so she, when she needs her sleep, I lock him in here with me. But whenever she is at, like, whenever she's at work, I'm currently still laid off. Hopefully, I'll get, be getting my job back soon, since it could be summertime. I work for an HVAC company, but we'll see. But otherwise, I'd show you Edgar, but he's not in here right now. He's in the living room. But thank you guys for watching today's video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. We are on our path to 800 subscribers by the end of March. Please help me get there. Thank you guys for all the support, and I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.